We begin this half hour with the fifth hoarding situation in three weeks, creating a large response from police to code enforcement and animal charity. Yeah, it's a problem that's not going away. Those groups worked together again at another home in Youngstown, and this rescue was a little more difficult than the others. <laughs> the sounds of desperation, yet delight to escape conditions like this. A home on McGuffey with items stacked floor to ceiling. And police called Animal Charity with this information. All we know so far is three dogs, um, but it's deplorable and it's hoarding. Um, you guys just need to get here as soon as possible. Eight dogs were found in a camper, but there were small barks coming from inside the house, which had been condemned this morning. That started a major effort to get inside and find the little barkers. One was friendly and came out immediately, but two remained. And we came from three directions, but when I jumped in, I was immediately in their horde and they were right there with me underneath large furniture, so we had to dig our way to them. The animals were hiding in small pathways of the house. Jane McMurchie believes the dogs had little human interaction. Two responders were bit while getting those two dogs out of the house. Time was of the essence to get them out from the falling um, furniture and falling trash hoard. Um, so we just had to unfortunately take the chance that we got to, to pick them up. The count was 11 dogs. The landlord was given citations and a woman living there was taken for health exams. McMurchie continues to preach about Youngstown needing more laws and resources for people dealing with situations. They're under socialized and they're afraid. It, it's not something that they're used to people going into those situations and removing all of their trash. Um, so they were scared, um, but I think that they're going to be just fine. Yeah, that call came just as they were about to return to Braden Street, where they responded yesterday and removed over 50 cats. Well, they went back there today to see if any more were around the house. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.